is our closing argument for our lives. This is our closing argument for our lives. When he was first diagnosed with ALS, Brian Wallach was told he had just six months to live. That was nearly seven years ago. You say in the movie, we're running faster and harder now than we ever have before. I could have slowed down, but I know that if I slow down, we will lose the chance to turn ALS from fatal to chronic. It's clear that ALS has taken so much from Brian over the years, but not his determination to fight for those facing the same diagnosis. His wife, Sandra Abravaya, is right by his side. Over the course of seven years, we've increased federal funding by over $1 billion. Brian and Sandra have not only helped to dramatically increase research funding for neurodegenerative diseases, they've also urged the FDA to allow ALS patients access to potentially life-saving treatments that are stuck in the pipeline. Brian and Sandra had the political acumen to understand how Capitol Hill works and to navigate that and to usher in real change. I am in awe of them. Katie Couric was moved by the courage and determination of the two former Obama campaign staffers. We met Katie and she's like, tell me how I can help. Katie joined Brian's friend and classmate from Yale, filmmaker Chris Burke, who had been intimately documenting the couple's journey and helped bring their film to life. Did you have to convince them or did they want to open their lives like that? You know, I think they understood that that sort of raw authenticity was required in making it relatable to people. And, you know, when you see these unvarnished moments of someone crying on the floor or in the case of Brian crying in the hallway after the testimony, I think that was actually the beginning of it. While the documentary For Love and Life, No Ordinary Campaign, does show the raw brutality of ALS, it's also very much a love story. I think that people were worried that this film would be a downer. It's not. It's not. It's, I think, so uplifting, so inspiring. And I think it's because of Brian, Sandra. Yeah. I really think that they captured this optimism, this ability to just keep going. Brian and Sandra have two daughters. They say are too young to see the film now, but they've already learned some big lessons from their mom and dad. They probably don't know every detail of, of what you're going through and how it is for the two of you to, to run this sort of epic <laughs> marathon, you know? Um, I'm sure they expressed to you how proud they are of both of you. Yeah. They know that we are fighting and they know what ALS is and they know that it is fatal. And so they celebrate everything we do. And that means everything to me. Yeah. Sincerely, guys, these are two of the most uh, incredible people I've ever met uh, working for this broadcast. The work they are doing is extraordinary. The film is also incredible. It'll be available on Amazon on May 28th. It really is so much more than a documentary about ALS. It is about the power that individuals like the two of them can have to drive meaningful change. And I urge everybody to go watch it, guys. I, say, I hope everyone watches it yeah. for sure. It's a great story. It's good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.